Hi everybody, it's Nick uh, Myers again, the recording secretary of New York Theatre Organ Society. Behind me is Dan Russo. He's French. You said it German. Okay. Anyway, um, so now all of you are aware that the organ is being restored. Um, so we wanted to give you a tour of the left side of the organ, which is the solo side of the instrument, uh, to show you what state it's in now. So you get kind of a cool full understanding of all the work that has to be done. So here it is. Here we are in the hole. So here's the ladder that comes up to the second floor. But if you were already on the second floor, so we're just gonna turn around here. And then as soon as you enter the door, you enter the organ chamber. So the first thing that you see when you enter the organ chamber here is the original relay for the stops. As you can see here, it's three levels tall. Dan, you're hiding from me. And for this shot, you can actually also see uh, the damage that is the reason why we're doing this. Whoa, there's a hole in the ceiling. Yeah, so this is part of the problem. So uh, it, this has just been ongoing leak that has been repaired up on the roof level, but uh, the chamber itself needs to be rebuilt. So then you take a right, and there's the pipe work. So right in front here is a beautiful dipason. Uh, this is uh, one of two dipasons in this instrument. And as you can see, it's just a lot of cosmetic damage that needs to be fixed. On some of these, you can see that some of the bottom of the pipe, let me see if one of these, is this one it? Yep. You can kind of see the uh, damage that's been done there. All of this can just be hammered out. We're not going to be doing the pipe work uh, on this instrument unless it's made of wood. Uh, we're actually going to go send everything out to pros. But uh, I just wanted to show you that. As you can see here is the original nameplate. Sweet! All right, let's continue on. All right, so this is where we were standing. We're actually going to move our way into this little alcove where Dan is. Dan! Hello! This is a door. This is actually where the organ is going to be removed from. Um, we're going to remove this entire thing. Uh, most of everything, except for the big heavy stuff. It's going to stay in here while the uh, theater restores this chamber. It adds new lighting and new electric. Um, but you can see from here, this is that's the entrance door. And then down here is the wind regulators, the wind trunk, the duct work, everything over here got wet. And this is after a lot of cleaning that Dan, Sean, and I have done so far. But you can kind of see the, uh, most of the major damage was done low, which is good. But um, look at that, yeah. So that regulator's kinda been a lot of wet going on in there. But uh, you can kinda get a general idea. Look at all them regulators. All right, now let's look at this. This is the Keaton relay. Let me get a light over. Yeah, it's fine. Doo -doo -doo. It's also three levels high. And look how tall it is. And all of this cabling, y'all. Cabling that has gotten wet, which is not good. So that's something that we have to talk with the theater about. You can see some of it's been replaced in the past. So now, as we go over here, we go to another side view of the switch rack here, three levels tall, which um, just so that you know how a Robert Morton style relay works, when uh, an organist flips a stop tab, the, uh, these pneumatics engage and put, or have the contacts touch here, as you can kind of see. We'll talk more about these once we're able to take one apart so you can kind of see what's going on. It is the theater's request and our intention to send these out to be fully restored as well. Uh, we'll talk more about that on a different video. Then we go here is the pipe work. As we got a dipason right here on the right, which is the same one we talked about earlier. Then we have, what's this? This is the viol. This is the first string here. Second string is the gamba. This is the uh, four foot octave 
or the four foot of those. And then the eight is actually over there in an offset, off there in the corner, if you can see that over there. With a bunch of extra stuff in here that was put in there, which we have to take out, like a heater. There's like three in here. And Soviet batteries. And Soviet batteries, which we'll take a picture of because they're scary. Uh, and then we have our, this is a tuba, which apparently sounded fantastical. And then you can get a, an idea of where some of the shutters are right from there. And above all of this is the marimba harp. So I feel like we should go up there. Okay, here's from the second level. This is the spot that we just were. We have the three uh, tune percussions on this side, which is, this is a marimba harp. And there's that. And then we have our glockenspiel, and below that is the uh, xylophone. Beautiful and everything. And then straight ahead is the shutters. And we have our pipe work. So this wonderful Billy Goat Vox, Herma Vox Humana and our English horn, which if you ever listen, there's Dan. If you ever listen to a recording of this instrument, which is on our website, uh, you can hear how piercingly loud the English horn is. Then we have our French horn and uh, the trumpet. And over there. Okay, you can get an idea of all the pipe work here. It's actually in pretty good shape. We checked the reeds and everything. There's no corrosion or anything. The treble octaves sitting up there. There's a couple of them. It's nice, this has like self musical accompaniment behind it. Do, do, do. Oh, you can see the tibia. Look how great that thing looks, right? It's an amazing tibia. It's a solo tibia. It's pretty intense. All right, let's move on. I'm gonna turn around here. And show the front of this. Dan again. Show what? The front of the king. Oh. Yeah, this is, um, it's very fragile, so I don't necessarily wanna take it, but you can see where the pneumatic and the contacts are there. Everything's still there. Everything's wired up. It's so great to take care of. That's the, we just found today, that's the control for the heaters in here. It's now in black. Can't see anything. And then, you can see the Kinura. Off here right next to the Tibia. Wahoo! We'll talk more about all this pipe work and get into more detail as we go along, but at this point I wanted to show you what it looks like before. All right, let me walk down this ladder. And then we'll head off to the coolest part of this thing. Got this thing here. Should have been working on underside drops and bottom boards today to check. So, okay, then over here we have a lot of offsets. So this is Offset Village. So we have the eight foot octave of the tuba right here up in front. Then behind that is the eight foot octave of the English horn. And then that, which is, <laughs> I think that's self-explanatory here. Uh, this is stuff that needs to be cleaned up. Um, so that's one of the many things that we have to do from people once, when these, once the organ wasn't playing, this happened. So, but at least nothing looks Two damage, some bent resonators in there. But there's an old heater. I actually found some um, old artifacts from the 1930s in February when this thing was installed, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and here we have, actually, let me show you this. Here we have the tibia, the eight foot octave of the tibia. It's amazing. Where's the one that's signed? Uh, probably the 16 foot octave. Oh, hey, this is signed underneath. Oh, there you go. Ooh, we're finding all of this stuff, uh, a bunch of original signatures and stuff that were, you know, obviously the voicers and stuff like that for all the pipes. So then we have the trumpet, diapason and the trumpet, the diapason uh, eight foot octave, the tr trumpet eight foot. Then below that, which is right behind it, is the French horn and the gamba, the 16 foot octave. This is the heavily mitered. As you can see, it goes from there, goes behind everything, and then goes all the way out there. So, it's gonna be fun to carefully move. 
So we have that, and then under here, which I'm going to try to crawl and do this while filming. Um, I'm not going to do... Can Dan, can you come with the yeah, light? Bring it. Oh. Dance the light! Dance the lighting, man. i got to get the other light. Okay. So this is the 16-foot uh, section of the instrument. Most of it on the side. Uh, this includes the... Actually, right there, you can sort of see the, the toy counter. There's a tree. There's three levels to that as well. Everything here is very wide, which I'm noticing. Okay, then as you can see there, Dan, can you flip the light over to the tom-toms? Look at those tom-toms, guys. Isn't that nuts? Beautiful, beautiful tom-toms, which need to be properly restored by somebody other than me. And then we have the 16-foot tuba back here. We actually turned on the blower a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago almost. About a month ago. Yeah, you know, about a month ago, and these were able to, to make some noise for us, and man, do they sound good. Uh, and then the amazing major diaphone, which is up here. Miter did all get out, and uh, it's in beautiful condition. Isn't that nice? But um, and you can see the bass drum over there, and then over here is the 16-foot tibia, which has two feet on it. Woo, almost condition. So, and that's over there. I'm kind of sitting, I don't even know what you can see. Oh, there we go, sorry. Look at that! Isn't that cool? So we're gonna ask them to put a, uh, a light up here because we can't see. <laughs> we can't see, but we got, nothing. we got nothing, but that's something. All right, last but not least, we have this toy counter. This one. So it goes in here. This is very hard to get to, by the way. This is a light that we put in. So behind Dan. And above me. And above Dan. Wait, I need to zoom out. Is uh, we have this sheet here, which is the, I think this is the wind. Yeah, there's a wind button. This is kind of cool. This is the, uh, and here this cone shaped thing is the aeroplane. It has a little, it's actually a huge reed in it. And it just goes. It's kind of cool. With that swell shades above us. Oh yeah, here's more swell shades. So the whole organ has its a ton of swell shades on it. They don't open very wide, but would be part of the issue why it was always quiet. Then here's some of our toy counter. We have a uh, wood block, obviously. We also uh, have a uh, doo -doo -doo, an alarm bell, which is back there. I can reach for it. Two sets of castanets, a triangle. Two tambourines, right on. Uh, let the sun shine in. We have a klaxon. There's a three-footed horse. Um, Monty Python would be proud. The other side of those tom-toms. There's two of them. Two of them back there. And there's the bird whistle in the back. We have a bird. We have a bird. A little, going around. That little um, there's a little cylindrical thing which you can't see very well. It has oil in it. Um, but. Uh, We'll have to take a picture of that when we take it out. Then we go up to this next, there's a telephone bell and a bunch of other stuff down there. Then we have our symbol, crash symbol, which we, it's kind of cool. Then we have another symbol up here. We have the timpani roll and the bass drum, boom. And then up there is probably the most unique thing, which I think I could probably climb up and play with, is the surf. It has little beads in it, it sounds like the ocean and a bass drum, and the Chinese gong, which no, is... snare. Oh, and we have the snare too. Oh, that's the snare. I'm sorry, the bass drum's right here. Duh. And you can sort of see that. Let me... Let's see if I can... No, I can't get up there without holding the camera. Anyway, that'll be something we'll hear eventually. Whee! As you can see, that's where the 16-foot stuff is. Right on. Let's get out of here, and then we'll finish this up. Good start. Take two. Take two. Okay. So now you have an idea of what the left side's current condition is. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done, uh, and we're really excited to get started. We're actually going to be taking out the entire left side of this instrument, pipes, everything, uh, next Thursday. So we have a lot of stuff to yet get ready. We're super excited to get started. And then at that point, the uh, theater is actually going to be fully rebuilding this chamber. They're going to put in new lighting. As I said, they're going to put in new outlets for us. Uh, they're going to put in pretty much 
replastering. Total replastering everything, starting anew. So new that the wonder when it goes back in is going to be in a perfect new home, which is going to be wonderful. And while that happens, as we, we're going to do a lot of the woodwork downstairs in the basement, but all of the pipe work and everything is actually going to go out to packed up properly and given to pipe restoration professionals who are going to do all the work that they need to do to make the pipes as perfect as they came out of Robert Morton. We're not going to do any revoicing to this instrument. That's really important to us and the theater. Uh, we're going to keep this instrument as original as we can. Um, and that's part of the super excitement is to hear this thing as it spoke back in February 1930 when it was installed. So that's it for this. Uh, if you want to go and learn more about what we're doing, it's uh, go to our website at www.restoringthewonder.org. This is Dan Rousseau, and I'm Nick Myers. Uh, send us your questions, by the way. If you have any questions about what we're doing, uh, nick, N-I-C-K, at nytos.org is the place to do that. Also, adopt a pipe. We need you to adopt pipes to keep this work going. Um, put your name on a pipe in this organ. There's more information about that also on our website. So we hope to see you all soon. And uh, this is Nick and Dan signing off. Bye.